Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing graphing of linear inequalities. This time we have two linear inequalities here. Uh, make sure that you watch our tutorial videos in introduction to uh, linear inequalities, graphing linear inequalities, and the sample videos of that topic. Now we have 3x plus 4y is greater than 12, and 3x minus y is greater than or equal to 12. So in our linear equations, we have a lot of methods to use uh, to graph this kind of inequalities. We have the uh, slope-intercept form or the intercept form. Now, first step, we need to rewrite first into equation. So we have this will become 3x plus 4y is greater than is greater than 12. So I need to change this into equal sign. And the other one is 3x minus y is greater than or equal to 12. Change this into equal sign. Now choose what method you're going to use. The intercept or using the rise over run. So let us try using this is the rise over run. So we have 4y is equal to move negative 3x plus 12. Now divide by 4. 4. So y is equal to negative 3x over 4 plus 12 divided by 4 this is 3 okay this will be our equation now if we're going to graph plot positive 3 positive 3 this will be our point then rise negative 3 negative 3 one, two, three, three up. Then since that is negative, we need to four run. So one, two, three, four. So the point is here. Again, plot positive three, then one, two, three, rise. Then going left four times one, two, three, four. Now we can now connect our points. But take note, this is greater than, so we're going to use the broken line. Broken line. Okay, this will be our line. Now, what part of our Cartesian plane are we going to shade? Is it on the upper part or in the lower part? So we need to check the origin. Or we need to test our 0, 0. So to test, so we have 3 times 0 plus 4 times 0 is greater than 12. So 0 plus 0 greater than 12. 0 is greater than 12. So this is false. So that means the 0, 0 is not included. So therefore, this will be our graph. Okay. Now we are done in our first inequality. Now, proceeding the second, let us use the intercept. So let x be equal to 0. So let us find y. So 0 times 3. So 0 minus y is equal to 12. Now we have negative 
negative y is equal to 12 so y is equal to negative 12 so the point is 0 negative 12 and the other one let y be equal to 0 so 3x minus 0 is equal to uh, is equal to 12 3x is equal to 12 divide by 3 x is equal to 4 divided by 3 plus 3 4 so the point is 4 0 now 0 12 plot in our partition plane so 0 going to negative 12 we didn't have enough space let's say 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and the other one 4, 0, 4, 0 4, 0 so if we're going to connect that okay okay this is greater than or equal to so we need to use the solid line so I've got 12 solid line Okay, let's say this is our line. Now we're going to test the origin. What part are we going to shave? On this part or on that part? So we have 3 times 0 minus 0. Is it greater than or equal to 12? So 0 greater than or equal to 12. Again, it's false. So, the rightmost part is the area that we're going to shape. We don't, uh, we, we don't need to include the... Okay, since this is false, the part that we are going to shape is this area. Okay, this will be our graph then notice that we have two shaded region this one so this area or any points in that area satisfies our given inequalities so this the points in this area double shaded region so that's on how to solve uh, linear inequalities in two variables Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.